What the fuck is this piece of shit? The Quarry. The latest release from Supermassive Games alongside the publishers of 2K. And this game is, well, not that bad. I heard the storyline is great and this game has a lot of potential. But the thing many people on YouTube are simply not talking about is the rabbit hole of the biggest scam the quarry has ever done. Now, now, no, this isn't clickbait. This is not clickbait whatsoever. This is a actual thing. And I have proof that they did this on purpose. Now, to give everybody some context, the quarry initially released on June 10th, 2022. And they waited for multiplayer a month later. They marketed this multiplayer as going into the game with fellow friends and basically exploring the game with a buddy or you can have this cool party mode with up to eight other players where you guys can collectively give choices to one another basically if you had eight people playing and there was a choice presented on the screen the majority vote would inevitably get the outcome that the group wanted which is actually pretty cool coming from a studio that made until dawn man of medan it was a pretty cool and unique experience that i wanted to give a try but i think I think a large part of this that nobody really seen coming was the quarry is nothing like any of the original dark picture titles in the aspects of multiplayer mechanics if you are playing a duo game with one of your buddies they don't really get to do anything they get to help you with quick time events they get to ping markers but other than that they don't really do anything other than watch you play they don't even get to control another character they simply watch you play help with quick time events sometimes get to decide on certain outcomes if the host allows it the host can entirely ignore their opinions for the outcomes and only have the main hosts choose everything which is beyond baffling to me that after you came out with until dawn house of ashes man of medan little hope these amazing titles you basically made this genre what it is today all those games are iconic for what they do and for some reason with the quarry one that is published by 2k themselves is half-assed i I don't know if the story is terrible. I haven't bothered to play it yet, but I just don't understand why they would do this. But now you're probably saying, well, that's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about that. Just refund the game. Well, you can't. Me and my buddy have 13 minutes on this title. We both try to refund it because we did not want to play, given that the multiplayer was a false promise. And Steam, of course, denied us. Man, I'm gonna... I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! Because we're two weeks out of that refund window, so we can't even return this game that we've never really played with 13 minutes of playtime because of this. Because they purposely made multiplayer release a entire month later, we cannot refund this game. And now this applies for Xbox, this probably applies for PlayStation, but PC has a two week refund window. If it's different on console, let me know in the comments, I do not know. But this is insane to me that they would purposely delay multiplayer a month when you could just simply delay the game a month, but you delay multiplayer a month for the people that bought it to play with their friends and they waited the month of owning the game, they are punished for buying your game early because you waited this month intentionally and then gave a false promised multiplayer. Now, if you're still not on the same page, if you ever played Man of Medan, House of Ashes, those type of games with a friend, you both control a person. But like I said previously, there's none of that. There is none of that in the quarry and it makes it such a weird experience because the first cutscene in the first engagement of this game seems really cool. It seems like a cool game that I could get into just like the previous games, but I simply can't given what they did with the multiplayer. I'm basically forced to play the single player now because I cannot refund it through Steam's terms of service. So I'm going to inevitably find out what this game's about and play it by myself. And the Wolfpack mode is the biggest scam I've ever seen. You're telling me my eight friends have to pay a full price $40 just, just to watch. You're, you're just watching me play for $40. That blows my mind that you would market any game like that in any aspect. Given a lot of people just got a free code to play by yourself, but fans of this series that play with their friends consistently got a big kick in the nuts. And again, I would be completely fine if you delayed multiplayer and it was just like the Dark Pictures games. Because the Dark Pictures games multiplayer is on point. It is amazing. It's great. I, I think that's where I say the quarry is a absolute scam. If you were someone like me that bought the game, waited a month for multiplayer with one of your homies, and you got completely shafted at the end of it so i wanted to make a video bringing this to light i don't know if this video will go anywhere it might get 100 views in a day or it might magically blow up because this is such a big issue 
if you played any of the other super massive titles you know you expect this multiplayer experience and it's not just me being weird if we go on steam and check out the most recent reviews you see people just like me that did the same exact thing review bombing the game because a month later in july we are actually able to try the multiplayer but a month later a lot of people probably already played it they probably forgot about it super massive got their money already it doesn't matter they made their bank what are they gonna do refund it oh wait you you can't i see no one talk about it and maybe this will spread light onto it spread this video out if you can please because I, I don't know what it's gonna do maybe they will change their ways or at least address it in some form i do appreciate you guys fully watching today's video it really does mean a lot consider subscribing if you do want to see more content from me and uh hit that like button if you did enjoy today's video as it spreads my videos more out to their respected communities but um you have a terrific day you be safe and i will see all of you guys later